Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, we are going to take a look at another aspect of the settings in Google Chrome and this time it's everything that it has to do with cookies. Cookies, I mention it regularly, are an, an essential part of browsing. They contain some data that helps websites remember who you are and uh, some of the settings and what you did. Cookies are useful in most uh, websites because they actually help you, you know, stay to the settings and the way that things are and you left them the last time you visited. It is why a lot of websites, it makes it a lot easier to go back and, you know, already have part of the information and part of the settings that we love. Also, why they remember us. And uh, basically, cookies have a bad reputation and always have had a pretty bad reputation for a long time. A lot of people thought cookies were, you know, viruses or could lead to viruses or data theft or, um, you know, uh, very personal information being stolen. It's not quite the case. Cookies have a limited quantity of information in them. But there's enough for third-party websites uh, that use cookie scanners when you actually go to websites and almost every website uses them and the reason why is simply because they want to know where you've been and adapt the website ads to what you might like it's as simple as that yes it's a fine line between privacy and and you know having usability but it's done and um, you know the, the problem with the websites doing this is that we don't have a lot of information and we don't have a lot of, you know, the websites are not clear about what they do with the data. And that's what scares most people with the cookies. Um, in Google Chrome, cookies are managed in the settings. You go to the upper right corner, three vertical dots, go into settings. In here, you'll go down to the privacy and security and in there, you see cookies and other site data. Here, you will have what you can actually have done with cookies. So you can allow all cookies to be go through. What does that do? It means cookies are accepted by any website. And of course, they'll be used and they'll be uh, utilized to make sure that things are as best as possible in uh, your browsing. Then you have block third-party cookies in incognito. What's that? Well, incognito mode is that mode where once you actually stop using it, you kind of, you know, there's no trace of what you did on your browser. Um, so you can actually block cookies in incognito mode if you want. Block third-party cookies. So cookies are uh, divided into different categories. There's cookies from the main site. And there's cookies from the main site plus third party. Third party is, for example, you're on a website. That website has part of it that displays another site with information in it. It could be an ad or it could be simply information taken off another website. Well, that becomes a third party cookie. You get website cookies from a site that is not the primary website that you are in. So you, you, you get where cookies get complicated and why sometimes people don't really like them. Um, so that's the other option that you have available. And then you have block all cookies. Blocking all cookies can break websites. A lot of websites don't work well once you block all cookies. And if you do not block all cookies also, well, you know, every time you go to a website, you'll have to re-enter, for example, the country, if it needs to know what country you're in. It will, you will need to re-enter any information that actually will make that website more personal to your usage because none of that information is saved. Then you have clear cookies and site data when you quit Chrome. What that does is that every time you actually shut down Chrome, if you put this on, you will lose all the cookies and the data that was saved there. Um, 
once again, not recommended because next time you go back to a website, it won't really remember that you were there. You can send a do not track request. Do not track requests are honestly kind of a little dumb because most websites ignore the do not track. Uh, it's, you know, when a, a do not track is sent to a website, it's the website that decides if they obey, they will obey the rules or not. Most of the time they don't. So you can still leave it on. There are a few websites that do, you know, want to keep your privacy and will have that do not track. They will actually try, you know, the best not to track you using this option. And then it says preload pages for faster browsing and searching. That means that you can prefetch information from pages uh, that you have not yet visited and they are saved on your computer. And then you have see all cookies and site data. This will give you every website you visited, the cookies, the information that were saved on your PC um, with the websites you visited. And then you can add sites to clear cookies so certain sites you can say hey clear cookies or not or always use cookies on that site I'm okay with it and so on you just click the add button add the URL of that web page if you enjoy our videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching